Every day, millions of oil and gas wells perform just like they're supposed to in the United States, providing the energy that helps fuel the American economy. However, old and abandoned wells are proving a threat to the environment and our safety. CBS's Jeff Beardelli has more. Probably another 150 feet away, we'll find another well, and then down that way also. Don Cornell is searching for a hidden menace. He's an inspector from the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection. Not even 150 feet. That's right there. It's an abandoned well. The EPA estimates there may be around 2 million of them scattered across the country. Left behind when oil and gas companies go bankrupt or stop taking care of their equipment, those wells fall into state hands. All these colored dots represent a well. Some are active, some are abandoned, some are plugged. And for every one of these, there's probably two or three more that aren't showing up on our map. Many now leaking dangerous pollutants into the ground and air. We accompanied Don on an emergency call to plug a broken well. I've been in this position now for almost 11 years, and I'm still amazed with what we come across, uh, some of the, where the wells are, in the streams, in the river. Islands on the Allegheny River, there's wells there. In people's houses? In people's Inside houses. Inside people's and, houses? Yes, yep. In basements and foundations. Uh, they're just everywhere. This isn't only a Pennsylvania problem. It's a global one. Leaking wells release methane, a big contributor to climate change. By some estimates, 80 times the power of carbon dioxide. And it's important that we all come together. Ted Bettner is with the Ohio River Valley Institute, a clean energy group. He claims thousands of jobs could be created, cleaning up these sites across Appalachia. This is about creating jobs where people want to work and want to live, and not about training them or dislocating people to places they don't want to be. Now, President Biden has added new urgency. His bipartisan infrastructure framework sets aside $16 billion to help. Federal government right now is talking about pumping money into states to plug these oil and gas wells. What would that mean for Pennsylvania? It would be huge, um, the public safety aspect, the, the stopping pollution, the, the jobs for contractors and, and citizens that could come out and do this work. It would be huge. But progress is slow, with no end in sight to the danger. Jeff Berardelli, CBS News, Bradford, Pennsylvania.